Oh, skeet, 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 skeet. Hey friends, episode 91 of Dub Life, and I believe this is probably the first time I've started a video like this. I am in my uh, workout gear. Uh, it is 7.50, 7.50 in the morning on uh, Friday, Friday the 17th of July. As you're watching this, it is 26th. July, maybe? Episode 91? Final episode of July. Hard to say that when it feels like we just entered summer and now we're part of the way through summer. Uh, but uh, I think this is probably going to be just a today video, just a one day video. Uh, and so I wanted to start almost first thing. I stayed up way too late last night, way too late, but I was having fun. So I. Uh, Woke up just at 7.30, just 20 minutes ago, a little bit late, um, but that's okay. And uh, I, it's Friday, so right now on Fridays, I try to run a 5K that I registered for. So I wanted to take you through what my morning is like when I do that. Not that it's terribly interesting or fascinating, but so many people have asked me about some of that stuff, so I thought I'd share it. So the first thing I did, uh, I got up, I TT. You know, a little pee-pee, a little wee-wee, you know, that kind of situation, you know, hey! And uh, took my morning uh, medicines that I need to take, got dressed, and uh, came down here. And the first thing I try to do in the morning of a 5K definitely is get my pre-workout in me. So I have my uh, blender bottle here that is drying, making a mess now as I've picked it up. And I, uh, so I just use water. Uh, 24 ounces of water, and I had this, my stack is this Amino Energy uh, from Optimum Nutrition, the Juicy Strawberry Blast, uh, and in this has, uh, let me see if it tells me, it's got amino acids, um, I don't remember, uh, but it's for uh, muscle recovery, energy, and focus. Uh, where is my... Oh yeah, it's got an amino blend, it's got some caffeine, green tea, uh, all that kind of stuff. All the different glutamine, taurine, all that stuff. So that, I put in some beta alanine, which I think there's probably beta alanine also in that, um, which is uh, for muscle stamina, muscle recovery, helps with muscle fatigue. And uh, this that's also by Optimum Nutrition. And then this um, Creapture, uh, just plain, no flavor, creatine. Uh, the flavor of the beta alanine is fruit fusion. So the juicy strawberry and the fruit fusion and then the plain creatine um, create, it's like a, it tastes like fruit punch. That's all it tastes like. Uh, it's fine. Uh, it's not wonderful. It's not terrible. It's, it just is what it is. I just try to drink it as fast as I can to get that in me and hopefully in about 45 minutes, um, probably around 8.30 is when I'll try to start my 5K. So about 45 minutes from now, 35 minutes from now, uh, or 45 minutes from when I drank that, um, it'll start to hit me. I'll take a couple of these C4 uh, energy gummies, probably two. Uh, I use a full scoop, a full serving of all that. This a serving is five. I don't need that much, uh, but I try to give myself a little bit. So probably two I'll take uh, in like 20 minutes. And then I will chew a piece of run gum while I'm on the run. Again, a serving of this is two, but I just uh, do one, I think. Uh, and I don't know, it helps me on the run. Now, so that's like my pre-workout, it's not, not necessarily breakfast. So I'm also gonna drink, so that was 24 ounces of water. I make a uh, electrolyte, a zero calorie watermelon limeade, great value, uh, which I am just starting now. And uh, today I'll have a Nature Valley peanut bar uh, kind of as my breakfast so to speak not not like a full breakfast but pre-workout stuff and I try if I have a big workout I try to do that at least 30 minutes ahead of time so Friday I get after it pretty good um, so I will run a 5k this morning I will do a walk of about two miles then I'll work for a while and then on my lunch break, I'll do another hour workout between the ring fit and um, 
resistance bands or something like that. So that's Friday's my big day of workouts. A lot of people ask me, here's the 5K I've registered for this week. It is uh, a David and Goliath race, and it's a kind of a cool medal. It's got David and Goliath for the battle belongs to the Lord, or for the battle is the Lord's, and it's cool. David and Goliath medal. I've tried to go back and forth on my 5K races between inspirational things for me uh, that I like, and then also uh, nerdy things or thematic things or just things I like the medal. Uh, and remember, all these have like a charity that they donate to that you're running for. So I'm also looking at the causes that they, and I, I honestly, right now, I don't remember which cause that was, um, but they all have a cause. And, and right now, a lot of it is uh, COVID relief uh, to help people that are struggling with childcare issues or have lost their jobs or, and uh, so it's, it's nice to uh, also be able to contribute to that kind of thing. Uh, so that's what my morning will be. Um, so here, I'll, I'll drink this, eat this bar. I'll spend 30 minutes just trying to wake up, honestly. Uh, and I'll probably watch some YouTube, you know, whatever, just kind of kind of mess around. I'll, I'll, I'll turn on my work and make sure there's nothing lingering from last night. And uh, then I'll stretch real good. And I'll take like a 10 minute brisk walk to kind of get my blood flowing and I'll start my run. Uh, by that point, I'll know mentally and physically if I can chase after like my PR, like my personal record, my best time, or if I just want to complete the run. Uh, that is not a thing I usually can determine mid-race. I know ahead of time, like how my body's feeling, how my mind's feeling, how hot it is, what the weather's like. Um, you know, when you're going after a really good time, you need certain conditions to be right. Um, a lot of that's determined by how my knee is feeling. I have, you know, old football injuries, how my ankles are feeling. Um, right now, as I stand here right now, I don't feel like I could chase after a great time. I just want to complete the race. But uh, as the pre-workout starts to kick in, I may get some energy, whatever. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, I'm going to do that, kind of get my mind right. I'll probably um, do my devotion this morning, do some journaling. Uh, I've been doing the Duolingo Spanish app. I think I showed that in the last video or the video before. Uh, it's really good. And I'm trying to do it 15 minutes a day. It has a little pop-up that's like, if 15 minutes a day can help you learn a language, what can 15 minutes off of social media do for you? Or something like that. I think that's really cool. Um, it's fun. I, I recommend uh, if there's a language you'd like to learn, you can just do the free version, try it out. So I'll probably do that some this morning uh, and get myself ready to go. So uh, I will talk to you next step after I have hopefully completed the race or after I failed to complete the race. And we'll continue with the day. Uh, in the video today, we've got uh, some things that have come in that I wanna show you. Uh, I've got some t-shirts that I ordered. I got a couple figures from Nate's Collectibles. Um, my setup is, my new laptop setup, gaming setup is almost done. It'll be done by the time I show you the video. So we'll look at a finished setup. I bought a standing desk, we'll look at that. Um, and just see what else happens through the day. So, welcome to the episode. I hope you enjoy it. And let's... Oh, no, go. Okay. I actually had a good run. 36, 13, 36 minutes, 13 seconds for 3.12 miles. That's my third best ever. I think this is my 12th 5K I've run in the last, like, 10 weeks. And uh, I feel good about it. My best ever is 35.28. My second best is 35.32. And then my fourth best is 36.57. So almost I'm more than 40 seconds better than my third best. And then a lot of them are 38, 39, 40 if I'm not feeling good. I didn't think I felt good. And uh, this is my most consistent paced run. I stayed right around the like 11.20, 11.30 pace the whole time. Whereas on those two that I've beaten, I ran like a 10.15, 10.20 first mile. But then I hit the wall bad and was running like a 12 minute pace, but ultimately evens out. I want to try to make it more consistent so I can run longer distances. So I got that done. Now I need to go walk two miles and, uh, and get to work. So I'll talk to you when I'm done with the two mile walk. All right, five miles complete between my 5K and my walk. Yay, here's my medal. Uh, I'm gonna drink, I gotta hydrate. So I'm gonna drink some water. While I do a couple hours work, a couple of those, and I will drink this uh, Bang Star Blast uh, in like an hour and a half to give me a little another rush to do my lunchtime workout. So I got to go to work. Talk to you then. All package. All right. 
a couple hours later, I've taken a couple work meetings. It's getting to be lunch break. So I want to do my other workout. Uh, these are the bands that I picked up recently. I've uh, probably shown them before or something. So they're 50 to 10 and they use uh, the clips. So you can actually put uh, like all of them on one if you'd like to. So I'm gonna work chest and triceps today. I'll probably do about 20 minutes of that and then I'll do 30 minutes of ring fit. Uh, that's the armband I use only when I run a 5K. Uh, actually, Victoria, my sister, uh, let me bar hers a couple weeks ago and uh, I like it. You can also hold your key or whatever. Um, usually I just hold my phone, I don't know why, um, but I use that for the 5K. I get my kicks on and my knee brace because I'm naked. And then I will do uh, ring fit for, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes. So I'll take about an hour here. And so far, I'm at an hour, 10 minutes of exercise today. So I'll be a little bit over two hours, maybe right at two hours uh, with the strength training and then the ring fit stuff, uh, which is you know kind of like a Pilates workout, aerobic workout. Uh, that'll be it. So again, this is my heaviest day, Friday. Um, I try to do at least 60 minutes of some sort of activity every day. Um, sometimes, like on the weekends, uh, it'll just be a walk. On Wednesdays, it's only ring fit. But on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I try to do 90 minutes um, and two hours in on Friday. Uh, spread out uh, before work, usually all of it, most days. Or on Friday, I do it before work and then at lunch break. Um, so I'm going to get on this. Uh, get my kicks on, get my knee brace on, and uh, hit the second part of my workout. And I will be quite tired. And the, the, all the bangs in me now. The bang. The bang. Whew. I'm tired. I had to lay on the floor for a little while. And now I just, <laughs> I, I think I'm at an angle. I just stuck the thing up there and sat down. Um... So uh, we can debrief. So I have this Powerade Ultra Zero. This is a mixed berry. Uh, these are pretty new. I, I don't know if I've shown this before. Um, the first time I saw them was in May. Uh, and um, they're like double, 50% more electrolytes, BCAAs, creatine, um, and zero other stuff. I only drink, I drink this once a week or maybe twice a week after big workouts to help replenish everything I put out. I have, I don't know that I mentioned it on an earlier clip, but I have that big blue jug that's a half gallon of water. Uh, I've, I've drank over a gallon of water already today. I think I've drank 138 ounces, I think is what I've drank. Uh, every day I try to drink a gallon of water and, and I try to drink as early in the day as I can. So it's still lunch break time. It's a uh, quarter to one. Um, so I'm finishing up the lunch, uh, lunch break. I need to go take a shower and then we'll go to work for the rest of the day. Uh, but, uh, so I drink this um, after a long workout day like today. I try to replenish myself, but I'm always drinking that gallon of water. Then I have this uh, Gatorade Whey Protein Bar. If you can see that, this is a big protein bar. Uh, again, uh, these are a combo usually. Um, it has more calories than a lot of the protein bars, uh, but it has just a, a great amount of uh, pro. Yeah, it's got 20 grams of protein in this. So. A little bit more protein than some of the normal ones I eat. Uh, so I'll eat this um, now as well to just try to replenish what I took out uh, with the whey protein bar. And then like through the rest of the day, I'll eat various, like I'll eat some string cheese and yogurt and almonds and peanut butter and um, maybe I'll make a smoothie, like various things like that, uh, just different protein, you know, not huge amounts. Uh, maybe I might make some eggs, boiled eggs or something, not with the stupid egg thing. Um, but that's kind of what my through the day eating looks like uh, a series of smaller meals versus like a big lunch um and then i'll have a, a larger dinner that we'll look at later um so uh let me show you the things that are right here um to kind of pivot off of the health stuff uh like so if you've been paying attention to some of the jo stuff josh has been talking about recently uh, he's trying to lose weight but he's also trying to do more bulk and mass than i am right now he has a lot less weight to lose um, so he's kind of concurrent. I've only recently started going concurrent. For the first while, I was just trying to lose weight. I didn't care about bulk or mass because I just needed to get weight off. Uh, and then since I've, I've gotten a little more where I want to be with my weight, I still have a long ways to go. But now I'm, that's why I'm introducing the creatine, some of the pre-workout, doing more uh, strength training because I do want to start to bulk up um, areas as well, more concurrent. So I'm moving into the phase that Josh is in, if that's of interest to you. But uh, all right, let's wind up the 
health and fitness talk. Again, uh, I'm pleased at where I am. I, I, I've worked really hard. Um, I don't talk about it much on this video. There's only a few of my select friends and family that even knew I was trying to do anything. Um, honestly, I don't feel like it's really anybody's business except for the people that I let in. And I'm not doing it for show and I don't need like broad uh, encouragement. That's not the way I work with motivation. Like I can be very self-motivated to do something. Um, so I haven't talked a lot about it here and there, but this was a, a lot here at the beginning of this video. And it's because I'm getting so many questions, um, too many to respond to on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube comments. So I wanted to give you at least a little bit of an overview of like what a random morning and, and a series of workouts look like for me. I'm working really hard. Uh, people think it's some magic pill. It's not. I mean, I'm putting in, like I said, 90 minutes a day, a lot of days or more, uh, and being, you know, pretty, pretty restrictive with what I put on my body. Um, so, I feel like I'm doing good, but that's that. Let's move to the uh, toys part of the situation. So first I did get two packages just uh, like 10 minutes ago in the mail. Um, they're gonna be two very different items. Uh, I think I know what they both are. That one I'm not sure, this guy. I think I know what it is, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a lot of outstanding stuff. Uh, this I, I know broadly what this is gonna be, but I don't specifically know what it'll be. I don't want to hurt it, which is always a challenge. Uh, now I've got sticky stuff on my action. Never what you're looking for. Uh, I don't, there we go. Maybe? No, I mean, I just cut nothing. That did zero for me. Come on, mister, I should've got the scissors. Mr. Knife is not the most effective on like the padded packs. All right, so this is a new race that I have registered for, and it is the uh, Minecraft gaming race, the Victory is Mine 5K. That's from Virtual Run, you see that? That medal is awesome with the creeper and the sword and the hearts on the thing. Um, so that's a race I've registered for that I will run upcoming to try to earn this medal. So the way it works is you go register, I think this is a uh, August race maybe, you go register on the websites, uh, either virtual run or virtual run events, either of those you can Google. Um, this is virtualrun.com, is where I get this from. And uh, you can, you register and it gives you a time frame that you have to complete your race, submit your time and all that. Um, and they have thematic things you know, like October has some breast cancer things, that kind of stuff. Um, so I try to register and keep enough ahead so that I always have several weeks worth of races to run because it helps me stay motivated, honestly. And I'll show you uh, kind of what my display looks like on that right now. Now this, um, I believe is something I ordered on May 15th. And it is July 17th. Um, because I only have one other outstanding package, so it's either that or a prize. But I'm almost confident this is what that is, just because of the nature, the way this feels. It feels like a styrofoam container inside this padded thing, and it does have an airmail sticker on it. So I think I know what this is. And it's not wonderful. It's more of a, I've got a, you know, problem type of thing. You know what I'm talking about. We all do. Lots of us do, at least, that uh, are in these hobbies. We have a little uh, little OCD or completionist or why do we need 47 Spider-Man figures? You know, some form of conversation like that. Hopefully I got that guy opened successfully. Now, I hate with all of my heart things that come in styrofoam. Packing peanuts are the worst. Uh, it gets all over the place. So I'm gonna be trying really hard to just cut this tape just enough so I don't get the peanut job. I do not want the peanut job. Man, see already, see I'm getting foam on my action. Uh, and it is, okay. So this is, I ordered this off eBay. Um, I don't remember the seller, but there's, there's a lot of good um, sellers that sell stuff from Japan that uh, have uh, web exclusives or stuff like that if you miss it. This was the Tamashi Web Exclusive SH Figuarts 
Black Panther King of Wakanda figure. So I mentioned I still have, I've, I've caught up to all the Marvel SH figure figures and I'm only missing the one Star Wars diorama. So I had to get this one to make sure I stay current, even though I didn't really want it. Uh, Cause I don't think it looks very good, but I got a problem. But the, I, so I did order it when it was a web exclusive. Then those Tamashi web exclusives get really expensive for a period of time. Um, and uh, this one nobody wanted, so it just got cheap, and it was pretty cheap on eBay. I mean, like 60 bucks shipped or something. So it's the Black Panther King of Wakanda. Um, SH Figure Art. So he kind of has the blue, like the vibranium charge suit. Uh, I think the reason people didn't like it is the Mafex one is really good, and it just, the proportions, which you probably can't see, but they're, they're just not good. He has this weird, like, upper body bulk. Um, I'll show you a little bit closer later, but... Uh, I got a problem. So then the other things right here to show you, uh, another essay. So these two items I'm about to show you came from Nate's Toys and Collectibles. Uh, Nathan Simmons, who uh, most of you probably know, the Syndicate Santa. Um, but Nate's, N-A-T-E-S, Toys and Collectibles. You search for that group on Facebook. Um, he's selling stuff that's pre-orders. He has the best prices I've seen in a long time. Uh, free shipping, and he's beating um, non-shipping prices. So these are my first two items I've got from him. Uh, the SH Figure Arts Rescue. SH Figure Arts Rescue. And we may open some of this later. And then what I'm very, very excited for. The Storm Collectibles Injustice Doomsday. Big, big, beefy. Big beefy. Um, so those are the three figures we have today. And I, we'll probably open all of these a little bit later today. And then uh, this item that I got from Amazon, Amazon ran a razor sale right after I bought all this razor stuff for my setup. Uh, even though I got good prices on a lot of it, they put a lot of stuff at half price. This is a chroma, like so all my LEDs, and we'll look at that later, chroma thing. Um, the Tartarus Mecha Membrane Gaming Keypad. I don't know why I need this. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon yesterday or the day before on the deal of the day. And it has the chroma and the light up keypads, which I really like that whole atmosphere. And uh, I think you can do some, yeah, they're all macro programmable keys. I don't know why. I mean, why did I get this? But this, um, we'll get set up and we'll show you later. Because I'm, I'm honestly, I don't know if it's just a keypad and a scroll wheel. I don't know what all this stuff does. I don't know. But we'll look at it later. All right, let me clear this off and we'll look at the other items here. So the final thing we'll look at in terms of like a haul type stuff for today's episode, I think, uh, unless something else comes in. Um, on 4th of July, so two weeks ago, um, that weekend Pro Wrestling Tees had a big sale. I think it was 25 or 30% off your whole order and free shipping if you had over 100 bucks, something like that. Um, they had a really good sale, and uh, I like to take advantage of their sales when they do. And I like to support Pro Wrestling Tees. If you're not familiar with Pro Wrestling Tees, it's out of Chicago, um, and they're all print-to-order t-shirts. Um and I think the thing that's really cool about it is it's all independent wrestlers or people that are basically no longer with WWE or no longer have some type of exclusive contract. And uh, the wrestlers themselves directly get the money. Um, it's not an enterprise where they're getting a percentage. Like if they say, it's no different if you bought one of my shirts from my merchandise link below that, you know, some people have, you know, if, if you buy one of those shirts, you know, I don't, I don't remember what the, uh, prices let's say it's a $20 t-shirt you know I get like a dollar <laughs> or something like that it's not certainly not getting rich but it does go directly to me um in that case it's because another company's handling everything and they're just paying me for bringing them customers with pro wrestling tees I think they get like half the half the money or more that you buy from so you get to like directly support uh people so I, I, <clears throat> I like that I wanted to support frog in the throat and uh, just like, I like everything around it. So let me show you the shirts I got. First, um, I got a couple of uh, kind of retired or otherwise uh, wrestlers. So I got this shirt, which is, see if you can guess from that, but it is Owen Hart, the Black Heart shirt, um, which this was one of the first pieces of in our hearts forever. So if, if you don't know Owen Hart, a wrestler, he died um, in the ring, fell. Uh, he was going to come down off the rafters. This is like 20 years ago. And he fell and died um, during a pay-per-view. So very sad. Um, was a great wrestler. And this is like one of the first Owen Hart pieces of merchandise that's been for sale like since that day. 
Um, the show Dark Side of the Ring, which is a fantastic wrestling documentary that's on Vice. They did an episode on Owen Hart's death and worked with his wife. His wife has a, a foundation. Um, and so these proceeds support that foundation. So I thought that was cool. Uh, and I like the shirt and I wanted to support it. Um, when you order from Pro Wrestling Tees, you can pick an option that's like two more dollars for a t-shirt to get a soft t-shirt. Do that. Uh, so that's the Owen Hart shirt. Then this shirt I just had to get. So again, I, I guess he's not under any type of legends deal. Like a lot of WWE people are under legends deals where they can they still sell their merchandise and get it. Um, but this one, Macho Man Randy Savage must not be under a deal with uh, with the WWE. I don't know. I love this shirt. Macho Man Randy Savage, the Tower of Power, too sweet to be sour. Ooh, yeah, dig it. I love it. So I got this Macho Man Randy Savage shirt. I like the style of shirt, of the, the words like that. Uh, so those are um, the former WWE wrestlers. Then, um, I think you know by now, if you've been watching me, I've been a big fan of AEW, All Elite Wrestling. And... Um, I love the Elite. I love being the Elite. The Young Bucks. Kenny Omega is my favorite wrestler right now. Hangman. Uh, the villain. The villain's kind of in some trouble. I don't know. You know, I don't know how I feel about him. But uh, I, I just love those guys. And uh, so, and I love all Elite Wrestling. So the first one I got, actually, I, I mentioned I just like the style of shirt. I got this one. Le Champion. The Chris Jericho shirt. Similar to that Macho Man style. Again, the soft tee. Very nice. Chris Jericho, the GOAT of pro wrestling, Le Champion, and that's an AEW shirt. Um, really like it. He's been really good in AEW. He's very funny. Uh, so I got that. Then uh, the Elite put out these shirts. These are like two years old, actually. They were in Hot Topic. Uh, I, I couldn't fit in them. I'll just be honest. They were not they were not in sizes that could fit me. They finally were. I, I, I spent the extra money to get like some type of super extra sized, uh, the villain one, because it has an owl and I liked it. Um, so I still have that. Uh, but then I got the rest of these, which are their kind of elite, um, I don't know, with their logo. So that's the Hangman Adam Page shirt with the horsey in it, which I like quite a, month, quite a bit. Then the Cody Rhodes shirt with Pharaoh, the American Nightmare shirt. I like that a lot. I think that shirt's super cool with Pharaoh on it, his, his, uh, his dog. And of course, we got the Bucks, the Young Bucks. Um, and I just like, you see, they're all the same. So I have all of these now. These will fit. The other one doesn't fit, the villain. Uh, with the Young Bucks. And then finally, my man, Kenny Omega, the cleaner, with his cat, with the Terminator thing on, which is an awesome shirt. I love the Elites. I want to support those guys. And knowing that that money like goes directly into their account, super cool. So I got another Elite shirt. This was limited. I think they only made something like 200 of these. And they did a crossover, and I'm trying to remember who it was, uh, with Capcom and with uh, a Nerds, I don't remember uh, Nerd somebody, but they did this crossover shirt, which has the box and uh, Kenny Omega against Ken Ryu and Akuma, a Street Fighter crossover shirt. Incredibly limited. I had to get it. It's such a cool shirt. Um, I had to get it. It was very limited. So I, I think it, maybe it was 500, but I think it was only 200. Uh, so then one more, I got nine shirts on that sale, I took advantage of it. Now this is a guy that I did, I was not familiar with before he was on AEW. When he first started in AEW, I didn't, I didn't love it. I thought it was silly and I didn't understand why he was getting such the pop he was. But only in the last like two months, three months, has he started wrestling. He just had a match with Jericho that was unbelievable. He's an incredible wrestler. He's not just the comedy thing. And I had just seen so very little that I, I didn't quite dig him, and he sold me. I'm into him now. Not to mention, he has the perfect shirt for Big Dub. I mean, the perfect. So if you can tell right now, it's going to be Orange Cassidy with the thumb up, freshly squeezed, baby. Tell me that's not a big shirt. Freshly squeezed. I love it. All right, I have to go take a shower. Then I got to get to work, and... Um, when I get a break, I'll kind of show you uh, some of the new things we've put in, put on the wall, whatever, and uh, we'll keep the video going. So, hauling it! Ooh, ooh, ooh. A couple hours later, freshly squeezed. So I want to show you a few things uh, before I get back to work.
So I think I've shown this a few times, but there's my metal stand. It's pretty full. I think I only have one more uh, bib holder. So I'll put one more metal on this. I went ahead and ordered another one that I'll probably just put on this side. That's the entry to the garage. Uh, you can see all my metals oh, from all the races that I have entered and completed. So uh, I like the way that looks. Over here, if you remember the last episode, uh, Rabbit Hammer, Steve sent some artwork. And so I did get it framed and displayed. I like it in this corner here because I can see it from my working desk and I've got this light kind of shining up on it to illuminate it. I decided to use a mat and I know I'm covering up part of the artwork, but I really like the way it looks with the eyes poking through all those. Uh, so I think that looks very cool and it turned out good. And here we go is the new standing desk I just got a few days ago and built. You can see no package. And uh, I got my Surface Pro that I bought a couple months ago. That's my gold MacBook I've had for like five years. Those are the things I would be taking with me to travel if I was traveling, but I'm not. So I gave them a permanent home here since it doesn't look like I'll be traveling much for quite a long time. You can see there's the, the little cranks. It's pretty simple to just raise and lower if you want to. It is on wheels. I've got them locked right now. And I've put this in. I had a command strip on it, this surge protector. It fell off. That way there's just one plug to plug into a wall. So I can move it around, I can move it out on the porch if I wanted to, and I have a uh, mobile workspace. Uh, I have this hub here, the HDMI, so that I could just change. Right now the Surface is up there through the USB-C, um, but I could also just uh, switch the input of the monitor and the MacBook would be there. So I like that, uh, you know, it gives me a different, uh, a different option for working because it's you know, you're just standing, you're sitting all day and that's not good for you. So I wanna be able to be more active. I can walk around my other desk is there so I can just walk back and forth as I need to. And then here, uh, we will look at this a little bit later in the day, but uh, I've got out, this is my big diorama from Carvar Customs uh, that I'll, I'll tag here. And I haven't put it together in a while, you know, with coronavirus, everything else, I haven't done much with the diorama. So I got it out, I wanna put it back together. And when we do that, sit down to put it back together. Um, I'll show it here. And we'll kind of try out and see. I think they'll all work together really well. Uh, maybe take a picture too. I don't know. Uh, but I want to get it together leave it here on the table. So I have something to play with, take pictures with. Uh, I have to remember how to put it together. So hopefully I can. Uh, but um, I think it'll look cool. Try out some of the different uh, extra accessories with it and play. Safety. Wanted to briefly mention after the safety, uh, these trees... They're a little bit different. So these are from Carvar, but these are from Dreadnought Dread on Instagram that I'll tag. And then this is what I showed you either last week or a week before from Would You Kindly Studios on Instagram. And I think the whole aesthetic, uh, we can make a pretty cool thing. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Yeah, so uh, in the car now. Quick concert. Um, it's not quite the end of the work day yet. But I did, uh, there's a couple things I need to pick up at Walmart. Um, and I just wanted to run and go do that before any type of Friday evening rush happens. It'll be relatively quick in and out. I don't know if there'll be anything inter 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 interesting, but we'll find out together and uh, go from there. And now back to the concert. Uh, Y'all yeah. don't want to hear me, you just want to dance. Oh, oh. Mud flowed up in lumps pajamas. She totally confused all the passing piranhas. She's lumped. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. Very short concert. Very short. I don't have a lot of time. So we're going pretty direct. Ooh, my glasses are dirty. I had sweat all over them earlier and I have failed to clean them effectively and I don't have any cleaner, but I have a cloth. Uh, yeah, very short concert. So I need uh, just a couple things I need that I will need this weekend and I don't know that I'll go back out this weekend. So I wanna go ahead and get it. Um, and I'll look for another 11 by 17. That person parked, that is unnecessarily close. Uh, frame if they have it, because I'm always looking for that and always not finding it. Get my situation on and we will uh, take a quick trip into Walmart. And here we are. And I just had a uh, 
fun times moment. My shirt, I put a little post on the Instagram story uh, like an hour ago. And uh, old Orange Cassidy gave me the uh, share in his own story. You know, freshly squeezed. Uh-oh, don't need that to happen. So thanks to Orange Cassidy, touching it. Well, our uh, frequent stop, I can already see they're not there. Let's see if they have any 11 by 17 frames. Zero. Any over here, maybe? And no. Anytime I'm in Walmart, I at least stop by to see. Because I only have one extra right now. And I like to keep a few of those available. But not a... Let me go see if they have protein bars on sale. They do have some of the things I showed you in the pre-workout. So I was going to just show you uh, the gummies that I'm using. Those, I don't... Is that the right price? Yeah, that is the right price. Those are the... I got those. I buy my stuff from Vitamin Shop. They put them like buy one, get one quite a bit. Uh, that's not the flavor I have, but that's the amino energy. I don't think they have the creatine I'm using. I don't see it. Nor do they have uh, the other thing, but it's some of it, you can see. Uh, and then, let's see here. Any clearance or cheap protein bars? Walmart is so inconsistent how they price their protein stuff. Like just some days they'll be really cheap. Other days they will not. I'm gonna have to try to get some of these Quest cookies. I know uh, Josh says they're really good, but it's just two dollars for a cookie. I can't do. I just, I just don't. I, I try to stay at one dollar price point. So like you see these proteins, six of them for six ninety four. That's closer, um, and they're good enough. Now these things could be incredibly delicious, and I'm missing out. So I don't know. I gotta figure that figure that out. I gotta find them on clearance somewhere. These I've heard are pretty good too. Kind of a different texture protein bar. I would like some bug spray because I've been hiking and taking walks and going to parks way more, usually once or twice a week. So I'd like to have some mosquito spray, one that's not aerosol to keep in the car so it doesn't explode, but also a different one to bring with me for, I don't know. I don't know where that would be. I'm in like the outdoors section. Is it in the grocery area? I mean, there's uh, bird feeder stuff. Citronella. Well, so that's similar. Citronella. No. I don't know where. I don't know where it would be. Maybe I was right. This is just a couple aisles over. This is bug. Uh, this is not what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for, like, personal. Not, like, spray and stay away from the house forever. Type of thing. Although, I put some flies one or two flies get in. But I'm looking for like mosquito spray. Which none of this is that. Any of this? Huh. And then this is all like round up and well I would think that this is where it would be unless it's all sold out I guess. But none of this looks like this all looks like the poison stuff. Spider traps. So that all was the bug spray. Well, the like extermination here right in the middle is the tanning stuff look at that oh my goodness from pasty to tasty but none of this is like off that's what i need is like off maybe it's in the camping stuff now i'm in the camping section it's still no like off maybe it's a controlled substance and it's hot what ice cream sandwich no i did put some command strips in the container Yay. Probably got more than I needed. So I got an aerosol all on. But then I got like these that I could keep in my hiking bag or in the car. And that one. I don't know. A couple different things. And over here, there's the run gum I told you about. Uh, I have like a, like one of those big boxes of it. Which I don't know how much they are here at Walmart because I they just sell them individually. But I just bought one of those from Vitamin Shop. The Stinger Waffles are good. I think I've shown that before. They give it a nice little boost of energy. Uh, there's the chafe zone again, you know. Uh, okay, onward. Take a quick look through here. There's all the blue Batmans again. Uh, nothing there. Anything new here? It doesn't look like it. This Walmart just doesn't seem to get restocked terribly often. I still don't see G.I. Joe anywhere. Nope. 
same old thing. Fast forward, same thing here. Nothing different, no turtle stuff. I think this section looks just identical to how it has the last few times I've shown it to you. Big pile of doo 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 doo. Some drones. I would not recommend buying those drones if you're gonna spend a couple hundred bucks. Just get a uh, one of the lower end things from DJI. It's my recommendation if you want to get into drones. Well, one of the reasons I was here was to get a currency card for prize for somebody. And it does not appear that they have the currency card that I need. So, uh, failure. Complete failure. The other thing I really need, they also don't have, so... I'm gonna have to run to Best Buy. Mm. Well, here we are at Best Buy. That's James's game stop over there, but I'm not, I don't have time. I gotta be quick. Uh, I have not been in Best Buy since all this started. And I think for a while you had to have an appointment only or something like that. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna, hopefully they have what I need. We'll see. No appointment was needed, but if you want sales associate help, you have to get somebody from the front they had mass sanitizer all that stuff so pretty normal why am i here why am i looking at the clinton's 12 dollars it's a good price so i need currency card and i need a hub this is not the right i haven't been at best buy in so long i'm just like ooh, shiny 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 i see currency cards do I see the one? That's what I need. Yay, finally, I found what I needed. Touch it. Now, oh, I got toys. What I need is a USB hub, but Cosmic Ghost Rider and Squirrel Girl. And this is all, no, this is new. Take down. I am again having trouble. I don't even know where a USB hub is. There's the HyperX stuff. I think I have all the Razor stuff I need after buying an unnecessary amount of it. Yeah, I got all that. Don't need any of that. But what I need is a USB powered USB hub, which I cannot find. I can get one of those deals. Well, that's not the one I need. I need like the, yeah, I want like a Quest. That is the thing I want, or the Go, any of those. I want any of them. Touch it, you know, feel it, that kind of thing. The Omen. Well, look at this. It's the first time I've seen that in stores. Two of the NBA gym. Oh, and the Pac-Man. That's the new Pac-Man. Those are new arcade one-ups, and I thought they weren't going to be in stores. Now, the question is, will Best Buy clearance those things all the way down to like 100 bucks the way Walmart was? I want it. But I ain't paying $500. There is zero chance of that. That's cool to see in person. This has got the, you know, it's got the seat and the riser. Oh. All right, tucked way back here in the corner. I guess this is all the USB hub things I'm gonna find. There sure isn't very many, but one of these should work for my needs. No, nope, that isn't what I need. All right, let me uh, sort through this and pay, and I gotta head back to work. Back from Best Buy, finished with work at 6.45, and we're winding down the video, but we have two things left to do. We wanna put this together, and we wanna check out the gaming setup. So hopefully, I can remember how to do this. I am not optimistic. Um, I know that Carvar labeled the numbers that are hopefully going to help me. So first thing I need to do is get the big base done. So number one to one. If you see, he's got the number one there and the number one there. If I remember right, you just kind of connect them. That's number five, five. So that's gonna go like that. That's good, that's good. Making progress. Five, 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 five. So this is number five. Oh, there we go. Yep, snap, snap. Now, let's see, this is number 12, which I do not see. Number eight and six, six, here is six. Uh, Eight, three, and six. I don't think it's that. No. 
This is like an outer wall, maybe. No, that's part of the... I don't remember. Oh, no. All right, let's just... Let's keep seeing what we can do. All I gotta do is figure out one. Number five is all fives. Fives. Does this go here, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the same. This piece is gonna be that, right? Yeah, like that. Okay. Now we're working it. Maybe this is where that went. Six and eight. Yeah, because you create an actual functional cave thing here in the middle. Right? Yes. Yes, I'm remembering. Ooh la la, remembering. See, so now we got we got progress. Oh, it's just the magnet messing up. Uh, all right, now we need twelve. Twelve. It's got a big magnet. Small magnets. Oh, I got this thing. Nope, that's not a thing. I got this thing. Ten and eleven. Love, so this, right? Like that? Yep, that's correct. Correct? And then is this just uh, here? No. No, no. Let's see what it looks like from the front. Yeah, that all looks reminiscent. Maybe it's this. Six and, yeah, six and seven. This guy, right? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. You made it really easy to put together. I'm just, I don't just don't, I'm being sorry. So that, and then the big magnet. There we go. That's together, right? Yeah. Multiple platforms, the rock, the caves. Yeah, that was not anywhere near as hard as I thought. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see me uh, adorn it with this other stuff. Okay, I had that piece flipped around, but now we're good. So... Mm -hmm. These, again, are the trees and such that Carvar made me. So you got just different little, you know, things you can do with the rocks and, and whatever. So plenty, plenty of stuff. Um, but what I'm really curious about is how do these look? So I also have these trees. So again, a lot of this, because these aren't on the magnets. Uh, they're just depending on the picture you want to take is what you want to do, really. But like, so you got this. Yeah, see, I think that works well. I think that works well up there. You know, something like that uh, for uh, just something to change it up, add a little uh, different dimension. Maybe I can put it over here. Uh, let's see how this looks up there. Or like the tower thing. See, I think they blend well enough. The grays are not, obviously not identical because different people made it, different painters. Uh, whatever, but I think it will work perfectly, especially if I can use some type of perspective situation or, you know, you have this as like a tower and you're shooting it from up or, you know, and you see back there, the blue uh, paper, construction board paper, that's, I'll put that behind and create a sign or I've got different colors or whatever. So I'm, I'm happy with this, um, you know, with all these different pieces that I've got. Uh, I think we can do a lot of cool stuff. So like even up here, you know, you can use a little bit of this type of deal, you know, to hide uh, some of the ridges. So let's say we did that. Um, you know, you could take a shot here and you've got a lot of depth, especially if you're zoomed in really close and you've got a crop on the face. That's the kind of stuff I want to get back into. So I'm probably just going to leave this on the kitchen table, to be honest with you right now. Um, for a while and just play around with it play around with all the different things Because um, I think you could do some really cool Stuff You know something like that. Uh, I think could work out really well Let's open up some of those figures we got and uh, we'll take a look at those change the camera around a little bit Let's open these guys up and I'll show you a little close-up on them first we'll get the king of Wakanda Black Panther figure out. Uh, not a lot. Just the head sculpt, three hands, and then the Chadwick Bozeman. 
Different scopes, not a lot of anything special on the accessory front. Uh, actually, I think the head sculpt's not bad for a figure arts. It's not bad. So you can see that. But you see how it's like so weirdly proportioned on the uh, upper body. And I, I tell you, the neck, that's not wonderful. I see why that's not a popular figure. But then it has just the regular head sculpt. But it does have the blue vibranium, which is cool. I think it's cool. Um, but, you know, when you have them all, you have them all. So. Oh, I've dropped a hand. I've dropped a hand. Ooh, that was almost a safety, but it was actually just a chair. Don't, don't you worry. If you, got, if you thought you had a doorknob on me, you do not. And again, I just put my figure art stuff in the bags now so I can get to it. And we talked about how I want to be able to get to it easier for pictures, that kind of thing. And I haven't made that progress yet. We'll play with him more. Not tonight, probably. I'm just going to get these open now. Um... Because I promised you I would. Promised you I would. I don't know what's in there. This one has the shipper box, so I'll keep the shipper box. Usually I throw away my figure arts, but these harder to get ones, the web exclusives. I'll keep them. Put them in the attic, just in case. Bloop. Now let's look at Rescue. Rescue comes with a lot. There's been plenty of reviews about her already. Uh, uh, we're, I think Robo did a good one. D Amazing has a great one. A Boog ACBA is a great one. Um, I like her. I don't think her head sculpt is very good, which is pretty normal figure arts. Um, but like on an iron character, I'm not going to use the, um, the unmasked head sculpt. Anyway, especially Rescue. I'm going to have her in the, in the Rescue situation. So she has a lot because she has like the whatever you'd call that, like her drones or something, and it can shoot different ways. She can hold them if you have a stand. Uh, so she's got several blast effects. She's actually pretty, this figure comes with a lot of stuff, which is nice. Uh, in fact, this may come as, with as much as any like non-effect deluxe figure art that I've ever seen. Uh, shows a lot. So like there's her like drone backpack or drone, like when they're expanded. And there's her like flying backpack. Those are both nice. I like the blue, I think it looks good. Big old Johnson Blast. And again, we'll, I'm just, I'm just getting them open, bagged up. I'll play with them more. I don't know, when I have a, when I have a moment, but not on this video, but I promised you a look. Let's get her out first. So this is like the stand for her effects. That would work with like a figure art stand. Uh, eight hands in addition to the two on her. And then the helmet. And there you go, if you can see it. Again, not a great head sculpt, but I really, really like, I like the figure itself. Uh, I like the blue. I was a fan of that rescue in the in end game when she showed up. I was excited, it got me, uh, got me a little fired up. You know, a little fired up. So she's cool. I like it. There goes like that. Yes, I believe so. Stick it on in there, you know. Stick it on in. Call yourself the sticker, but not a laminate sticker. A sticker made of wool. A canoe made of country ham. Well, you know I'd eat that. Sorry for all the loud noises, but I can't seem to get it in the hole. All right, got it in the hole. And then finally, uh, Big Beefy himself, Doomsday. I have the Bane over here so we can compare. I, yeah, Doomsday's not gonna come with much, just uh, two hands, two sets of hands, the way Bane did. Look how big those are. Just as the hands and stuff, they're humongous. There we go. Oh, he does have an extra head, actually, with the ponytail. Oh, is that open head? Man. Woo! Thanks again to Nate. That is a big boy. Oh, yeah, he's bigger than Bane. Like, a good bit bigger than Bane. I think he's the biggest Storm Collectibles today. I think he's even bigger than, like, Goro. 
That thing is humongous. All right, let me turn the camera around. I'm gonna open these and we're gonna see if we can at least get one picture. So here is the things I said I was gonna open. The Bounty Collection, you can look how big, big beefies are. Uh, and I pre-ordered these from Big Bad. I got them for Victoria and I got myself a set. I, you know, you, you didn't know when all the Baby Yoda stuff started, um, whether it'd be hard to find, it took forever. They're not articulated, but they look really good. I'll, I'll uh, give you a close up in a minute, but that's the way they look. And they come two in a little like shipper type box. I don't know if they're blind boxes or whatever. I just ordered all of them and got two sets of all of them. So I have no idea. I've never seen it in a store. They're adorable though. They're certainly not, I don't know what scale they'd be. I guess they maybe could be six scale, maybe. I mean, does that work with, well, he's like not six scale. I don't know, but uh, take out all of that. And then it has like a clamshell in the back. So that one is uh, asleep. I don't know. How the heck is that gonna stay up? I guess you just, like okay. that? Ah, it has a little instruction book, but I think it's just warnings. So what we're gonna try to do is just figure out one of them and get them in a picture, see what we can do. Camera in hand, there's these big boys. So there are those, so you can see they're great. And I'm gonna to try to put one up here in some form or fashion and take a picture. If I was successful, I'm just gonna do it on my phone. Uh, you'll see the picture right here. And hopefully it looked good. And next, let's wind down the video and look at the new gaming setup. We are upstairs and here you have it, the gaming setup. I have the lights off right now just so you can see all the different uh, Razer Chroma LED things. The red underneath are coming from the, the Asus monitors I have with the Asus laptop. That is the Elgato uh, Stream Deck. But then everything else is Razer. So you've got the big mouse pad illuminated. You've got that thing that I showed you earlier, the keypad back there. You've got speakers in the back. Uh, the microphone right there does not do the Chroma. Uh, the camera is up there, has a light ring. And then the uh, headphone stand as well. And then even the laptop stand you can see back there is illuminated. So let me turn the lights on now and we'll look at it in a little more detail. So we're at my seat. I've got the laptop uh, dock there. I showed you all the stuff, I think, in the last video, so I'm not going to go over it all. But you can see there's my setup. The monitors are on. Uh, I've got Steam on here, uh, Twitch Discord. I've got the Xbox uh, Game Pass on here so I can download Games off that, uh, a little bit of everything. So mouse looks good. I've got all these pulsating at the same thing. Um, and then there you see the webcam. So if I turn on, uh, let's open up Streamlabs. I think it will auto turn on. And you can see it has a, a light ring on it, which is nice. It may not be set up at the right place, but we're about to find out, aren't we? After it powers up the clouds. But this is where I can stream on Twitch, if that is a thing you're into. Oh, it's dropping the fire mixtape. It's going, it's taking, taking its own sweet time. Uh, there you go. So you see how boom, popped on. And then you can see, oh look, there's me. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want this little template to look. Uh, and it's looking back there behind me. I've got a little fridge right there. I put some things you know, in the background, so I have something. Uh, this is in my bedroom, but I, I wanted to have a little background stuff. Uh, that we'll clean up eventually if I start doing it. This is the stream deck. So like if I press one of those, like that button, you probably can't tell. There you go. That would tweet uh, that I've gone live on YouTube. That would tweet I've gone live on Twitch. That would leave a comment in my Twitch. That would leave a comment in my YouTube. Um, and uh, in fact, let's show you my Twitter and my Twitch right now. There's my Twitter page, Big Bry, B-R-Y 60 instead of dub. Um, if you'd like to follow me there, that's where I'll, I'll, I've started using that more for some of this stuff. So please follow me on Twitter if you have Twitter. See a major wrestling figure podcast. And this is my Twitch. If you see up here, twitch.tv slash bigdub60, like my Instagram. Uh, 25 followers. I didn't have any like a day ago, so that's good. And then uh, I think I've streamed four times. Yeah, it's four times. And I'm not streaming long, and I'm doing a bunch of different games. Guild Wars. Middle Earth, I did Pandemic, I did Guild Wars again. And you can see I'm just trying to experiment and learn what I want there. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I think I have highlights as well. 
yeah, I got the highlights. I try to make highlights so you can see what it's like when I stream. And in fact, right now, why don't I put these four Twitch highlights right here? Yeah, yeah, help me now. Eat this dude. What, tame dwarf? What's, oh! Get him, hellhounds! Run away, run away. Oh, now they're hitting me! No, that's not nice! No! No! Oh, this is a bad news situation. I'm now I'm like, oh, just broke leg, walking. Walking like I got a dump. Why are my... Why do they hit me now? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, feces. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this situation. One, 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 four, 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 three. One, 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 four, 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 one, 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 one. What's this? Defeat the cave troll. Have I made a mistake? Pain for pain. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I did make a mistake. Oh boy. Look. Look at that boot. The Dark Lord. She is not dressed appropriately for a cave. I know she's a spider, but still. Some house slipper, some UGG, something. Middle Earth. Oh. London. Okay, that's alright. We're doing alright here. Miami. Now, cure. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, 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 suck it. So that's kind of what a little flavor is of when I'm on Twitch. Um, again, I'm not going to stream long times on Twitch, probably. Um, it's being, being silly. When I play games, I do not rage quit. I don't care that much. I don't get upset. I don't play games that would make me that way. I just have fun and, and silly. Uh, and uh, I've started to use this now that I have this here uh, in, my, in my bedroom as like a wind down before I go to bed, maybe 30 minutes, an hour. And every once in a while, I'll turn it on and, and show you what I'm playing. Shadow of War, I'll probably play a lot through that. I really like that game, um, and I'm pretty good at it. I've played, I got Shadow of Mordor 100% on Xbox and I think on PlayStation. Then I've, I played Shadow of War on PlayStation. I had it pre-ordered, and then Breath of the Wild came out, and I stopped playing it. So I want to play back through it here on the computer. Uh, so if you're interested, twitch.tv slash bigdub60, and on Twitter, bigbry60, if, you, if you're interested. Uh, I'll, I probably have linked them or put the things in there as well. So uh, check that out and uh, let's go get my dinner ready and we will wrap up this video. So no cooking with Dub in this episode, unfortunately, because um, my friend and I, we had some Mexican uh, yesterday. So I have a bunch of leftovers because she and I did not eat it all. So I'm gonna have this which I think is half of a burrito, maybe an enchilada, and a soft taco, and some chips. That's what I'm going to have for dinner. So no cooking. And that will, in fact, bring us to the end of this episode of Dub Life. A one-day episode you really got to see um, another kind of day in the life uh, a few months later. Um, lots of working out today. I had to go run some errands. Uh, I worked until 7 o'clock. I took about an hour break. A middle day when I ran to Walmart and Best Buy. Um, then I had my lunch break, worked out before work. Uh, you've seen what I've eaten. I heard, you know, actually I never even ate uh, almonds. I'm, I'm quite hungry, as a matter of fact, because when I got run around errands, I never ate my string cheese. And that's all I've had today, actually, is the peanut bar and the um, Gatorade whey protein. And then the pre-workout and the drinks. Not advised. That's not what I normally would do. That would That would hurt me. Um, I just, I got busy running errands, so I'm gonna eat a lot tonight. I'll eat this leftovers and pr I'll probably still eat some of the other things, some almonds, some peanut butter, something like that to help me recover. So then as I get in the weekend, uh, my workouts will be a lot lighter, probably just ring fit or maybe a walk tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, and then uh, we'll get back at it on Monday. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed kind of a day with dub, uh, type of thing. Uh, was super cool. Shout out again, Orange Cassidy, you know, um, you got to see the gaming set up a little bit. 
Uh, I'll try. I mean, if, if people want me to do Twitch, if there's engagement, I'll do it. I'm also going to try to get back to live streaming on YouTube. I told you the whole reason I got that thing was to do some more hobby type stuff like that. Super fast computer. It's the only thing I have direct connected to Ethernet. So it's got uh, gigabit speeds. It's really fast. Um, I'm going to try to take some more pictures and, and just have some more fun stuff. So, uh, and if there's interest, I've been asked to set up a Discord server for Big Dub type stuff. If that's something you're into, please, please leave it in the comments so that I know and I can figure out how to get that set up if that's something people want to do. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday or whatever day you're watching this, and I'll talk to you next time. Squeeze it.